Hey folks, hope everyone's doing well today. I've got a stack of cards here uh, for my mail day, my mail week, and this actually isn't everything I got. I left, uh, there's a small stack of Acuna cards that I left at home because I was looping them a couple of days ago. And so I'll show that in next week's video, but um, this is what came in this week. Uh, some exciting stuff, I'll get right to it. This right here, this is the bulk of it. From a guy on the blowout forums, I ordered, um, I think it, these are 80 base Austin Meadows 2018 Tops Update rookies and a gold. And I've got another order from this guy that should have already been here. I need to actually message him and ask him if he had a tracking number. He didn't send me tracking, but uh, it's a few more Austin Meadows cards that I, hopefully I'll show you in next week's video, but that's 80 base rookies and a gold. Paid 135 for the stack. And I think that, I, I'm, I think I have over 500 of Austin Meadows' base rookies. Now I have some being graded. The majority, the vast majority I have not even looked through yet to pick out potential PSA candidates. Uh, so I'll probably start doing that sometime in the next couple of weeks. Actually, I'll probably do that for, before my next, next submission, bulk submission, which I think will be in a couple of weeks uh, because his stuff is starting to go up a little bit. So I want to get some of those rookies mailed off. From another person on Blowout, I did a partial trade slash cash uh, exchange for these two cards. He got, what did I give him? He got a couple of cards of mine, a little bit of cash. But first is a 2018 Chrome Aqua Refractor, Luis Robert numbered out of 125. I haven't looked it over with a loop. I think this will probably go to PSA. There's one corner I need to look at a little more closely under the loop. If that's soft, I can't really tell with my naked eye. If it's a little soft, then this is going off to BGS, which is where this other card's gonna to go to. This is a PSA 9 green mega refractor uh, from the Mega Box. It's numbered out of 99 and it's a nice looking card. I can see one soft corner on the back. It's, it's sharp on the front, but there's one soft corner on the back. I'm gonna crack this out and send it into BGS, see if it gets a BGS 9.5 bump. So, got that. <clears throat> Picked up this Sam Hilliard uh, Meyer purple card. Not expensive, I think I paid $10 for it. Got a little bit of a soft corner up there. But that's one I'm probably gonna throw in a box for a little while and see if he ever becomes anything. From my local card shop, I stopped by there uh, recently, sometime uh, yesterday, day before yesterday, picked up a couple of boxes. You'll see one of those, I'll break one of those next week, but also picked up this Brian Reynolds gold. Um, it was cased in the one touch and the, he gave it to me for like $8, I think. And right now, uh, the raw versions of this are going for something like 15 or 20 on eBay. So I thought that was a good deal. Deal. It wouldn't great, great a 10. Max, it's a nine, might even be a little lower than that. But with the Mac case for $10, $8, actually I couldn't pass it up. From Blowout, I got a stack of 2020 Top Series 1 rookies, a couple of Kyle Lewis, Dustin May, Gavin Lux, Bo Bichette, Jordan, some more Lux. I think I paid $20 for the lot. No, that's, that has to be wrong. I don't remember what I paid for the lot. Disregard the $20 thing. I don't remember what I paid for that. Got this off of eBay. It's a Gavin Lux action from 2020 Heritage. And from another seller, seller on eBay, just came in today, got a real one auto of Gavin Lux. I don't know that either of them is gradable. The this one, max would be a nine, even probably by BGS standards. Uh, so I don't know what I'll do with that. This one is a little too off center to make a 10, I think. And it's got a slightly soft corner. These these 2020 heritage, heritages are gonna be tough to grade. But Gavin Lux, he's the front runner, favorite front runner for rookie of the year. Will he be in the top five when it comes down to the end of the season? Who knows? But that's, you know, I've got a few of his cards just in case. From Filmington's auction, I got this Luis Arias vintage stock. This would probably grade 
a BGS 9.5. I've got another vintage stock I'm going to be sending off in a submission that I'll tell you about after I finish this stack. I also got this 2014 Ramirez Red Hot Foil from Filmington. Uh, I think I paid 30 or 35 for that. But Ramirez is one that people keep thinking might have a breakout. Last year, he, he has good half seasons. He, he always has one good half season, one so-so or kind of flat half season uh, to make for a decent season. But if he could sustain that that half a season throughout, he'd be, he'd be golden. From, where did I get this from? This is from Blowout. Picked up this Brent Rooker Purple Auto. It's a 9510. I've got some of his stuff at PSA right now. I think I have a blue auto of his. It's about to pop at PSA. And then from Golden Auctions, I got two cards in their recent uh, auction a couple of weeks ago, ended a couple of weeks ago. First is this Nuelvi Marte. This I'm going to crack out and send a PSA. It's a 910. Nine fives on everything but the surface. Surface is an 85. The reason I'm going to send it to PSA is, well, there are two. One is that they tend to be a little easier on the surface than does BGS. Now, I doubt this is going to get a bump to a 10, but uh, regardless, I th my second reason is I think this looks better in a PSA case. As a nine, it would. <laughs> um, but it's a nice card. I actually don't, I think this top corner would probably keep it out of a PSA 10 also. But the next card I got was a BGS 9510. It's an Alexander Canario Blue Refractor Auto. Corner's got a nine, so I wouldn't crack this out. But he's kind of getting hotter. So that's what I picked up this week. Uh, tomorrow, if you haven't already, you have to early tomorrow morning to check out the video from Monday and enter the contest. All you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment uh, for the chance to win a couple of things. Next week, my PSA submission just moved to the final grade, so I'm hoping today or tomorrow my my bulk submission, the first to, be, to have been graded in a while, about a month, month and a half, uh, finishes and maybe gets shipped out, fingers crossed. So... I should, should have that to show off next week, a reveal, but next week I am going to submit some cards to BGS. I don't know how many it's going to be. It might be five, might be 10, might be 15, probably about 10. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, Bowman 1951 or 1951 Bowman had a video where he did a blind reveal. He didn't know what the grades were beforehand. And so I made a comment and he challenged me to sort of, sort of challenged me to do a blind reveal. So I am going to submit those cards, and when I show them to you next week, I'm going not only to show you what I'm sending, I'm going to show you what I think the grades will be, and not just the overall grade, but the subgrades. I'm going to compare myself to a BGS grader. We, if you saw my recent BGS reveal, you know that my, my eye for surface wear sucks, so that's going to be a challenge for me, but I'm going to break down the cards to the subgrades, and... We're going to see how I do when those things get back in probably three to four weeks after I submit them. I think I'll, I'll probably do a 10-day submission. But, yeah, look for that next week. Hopefully, we'll have a PSA submission reveal. That's not going to be blind. There are a couple of cards I really want to see what they graded. Uh, one of them in particular is a Walgreens Yellow uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. that I pulled from a, a hanger box. I think it'll get a 10. I'm calling that right now. I think it'll get a 10, but I'm not sure. Um, and then have, I'll have another mail day next week for you to look forward to. And actually I'll have, I know I'll, already I should have a stack of things because I ordered some stuff from another auction house that will get to my house next week. Um, so I hope you'll look forward to those and I'll see you soon. Hope you have a great day.